I feel like I've personally lived a couple lifetimes. I think we've all grown up. We've all evolved as musicians. I've evolved as an engineer, and that definitely reflects through the discography for sure. I feel like it's almost written. You know what I mean? Okay. Ah! I'm sorry. All right. I do need cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers really do help everything. I got back from tour like this last summer and I called Roger and I said, hey, dude, let's let's make a record. And uh, we tried to do this a couple years ago. It didn't work out. And um, this time it worked. All the everything fell into place and, you know, and everybody was down. And here we are. For the Warriors? Or just, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> This, this song, okay, so this was written in 2012. And we all hear the thing, what if we do like half like, you know, aggressive songs and the other half like not hip hop, ele electric, electronic stuff and that's where Hobby comes in. I guess I like the feeling of um, putting out a record or music and seeing what people th think about it, you know. I could say we're writing it just for us and it most of it is just writing it to be creative and hang out with your friends and just see what what's going on in each other's mind musically. I like to know like if people like it or not, and if they don't, it's okay, you know? Sometimes I don't even like the stuff I write after a while. It's a different type of art. It's like, this is how I feel in my brain. This is what, at that moment, was driving me. I like to hear it recorded and produced, like, all right, yeah, like, it makes me feel a certain way. You could almost do that, that first guitar riff, like, as a, a muted, background it, things it, it becomes a pre-chorus yeah heavy with groove that's a warrior song so something that's a little funky and it's heavy and marshall's doing something weird so <laughs> i can't speak just for me but i think almost everybody that was in the band we've been able to travel because of being playing music playing an instrument and being in the warriors uh, me personally i didn't see any of the world until i you know joined the band and went on tour, so that was like a huge, you know, life experience for me, as I'm sure it was for everybody else. And um, I think it's really awesome how they're including um, everybody on this record. Danny and Donnie, they um, they left early. It was um, I'd say probably I can't remember the exact uh, year or whatever, but they walked away kind of mutually at the same time to pursue their other passions because they're both of them are just just crazy talented in other departments as well, you know what I mean? It's just so crazy that like, I don't know how kind of like the stars aligned and it's like we're back together doing this again. And it's really refreshing because, you know, we don't get to see each other very often. I haven't seen Donnie physically in years. So, um, it's really special, it's cool. So d throughout this process, being here at Joe's place, recording in his home studio at his house, there's a sense of summer camp in, in the sense that these old friends and past members are just coming to hang, offer, you know, production notes, riffs, whatever they have in the mix. And it's been, uh, it, it's been really exciting to see you know, what really makes the Warriors special is this collaborative nature between members, both past and present. Not every hardcore band or even any band in any genre can survive decades and be thought of as the same strong entity that they were when, say, they were, you know, at their highest, their peak. Um, I don't think we expect that sort of longevity um, 
pretty sure my hardcore bands don't expect that kind of longevity. So we've all maintained being friends, even through all these memory changes, people coming in and out of the band. As you, as you know, we've created this record, a lot of these old band members, they're still friends coming over and hanging out and partaking in whatever this process has been. Mm-hmm.